Hello there, Star Wars fans, and welcome back to another RebelScum.com video review. And today we're reviewing the new Jazzwares Razor Crest from the Micro Galaxy Squadron, as well as the Mystery Mini from Series 1 with the Mandalorian and the Swoop Bike inside, which this is also really cool. A very interesting Mystery Mini, um which I'll get into when, when we actually get to this, this portion of the review. So, yeah, very, very interesting. I have some interesting things about to say about this one. So, or at least I think they're interesting in any case. I mean, hopefully you think it's interesting too. Anyway, here it is, and it's looking great. We've got three figures this time. We've got Mando, Queel, and the off-world Jawa. On this side of the box, we've got some awesome artwork of the Razor Crest right there. On this side of the box, we have some removable panel features that are on the Razor Crest showcase on the side. And on the back, we've got that awesome blueprint, a hollow of it, some of the other vehicles. Anyway, here it is. It looks awesome. We've shown off the packaging. Let's get it out. And then on the inside, we have a bunch of Republic LAATs in the background for some reason. I mean, it's cool. I dig it. You know, I love Republic gunships. And, you know, the Razor Crest is supposedly a Mandalorian gunship. But um, I don't get why we have Republic gunships in the background. That and there's an Imperial Star Destroyer further back in the background in front with the Republic gunships in front. So uh, it's creative. It, the artwork looks good. It's just an interesting choice for the Mandalorian, you know? I don't know. Just an interesting choice. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but odd, odd choice. Odd choice. And here is our awesome little card back with three figures in it. And here she is. There is the Mandalorian's Razor Crest from the series The Mandalorian. This looks very, very nice. I gotta say, Playing with this bad boy right here, seeing it out of the box next to the rest of the Micro Galaxy line, this is probably my second favorite release of the Razor Crest. The first of which being, of course, the HasLab Razor Crest in the Vintage Collection in 3 3 quarter scale. I, I don't see anything ever topping that piece for me, but this is definitely the next best Razor Crest toy in my opinion. This thing is awesome has a lot of awesome features. Much like the HasLab, it has its own little landing gear. So underneath you've got the central run, central one that pops right out of the front. On the sides, they got really creative with the, with the side landing gear. You untab from the bottom to kind of simulate that sliding out feature that his side landing gear had. And it looks really cool. It looks like it should once it's folded out and then, you know, you just fold it back under, under the bottom and it looks nice and smooth. So th that was a really creative way I thought of, of how they handled that. And I, and I do like it. You do have both the rear ramp and hatch that opens up. You also have the side ramp and hatch that opens up. Like other releases of the Razor Crest, you do have removable panels. On this, on, on the left side engine, you have the cover that comes off so you can see all the inner workings, much like with the HasLab, except I believe it's only on the one side. Um, after, after playing with it for some time, it doesn't look like the panel on this side comes off. Or at least I, I couldn't figure out how to get it off. Maybe, maybe it is removable and, and maybe I'm just, you know, I, maybe I just couldn't figure it out. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. The, the top middle panel also comes off like a lot of Razor Crest vehicles. Um, I find one of the best ways to do it is to open that rear hatch, stick your pinky or something in, and then just kind of push up from the bottom so you can get that off easier. Uh, you do get a Mithral and Carbonite here, which is pretty cool. Not quite sure where that was sitting or if it was... Now nah, it wasn't attached to the top, so it was just like kind of sitting in there. But uh, yeah, you do have a Mithral and Carbonite there. And also you have this side panel that comes off, much like on the HasLab release as well. Oh, okay. I know where this goes now. 
Hang on, I figured it out. Okay, so there's there's a little tab right here and this little bracket right here. You just kind of, there we go. You just kind of work it in between those two little pegs on that and then you can swing it around, which that's really cool. You can swing the little carbonite there around. That's pretty cool. You also, it's a little, it's a little tricky to get to but you also have the carbonite freezing chamber right there, which does open and close, which that's pretty cool. Some other cool little details, net details in the background and other paneling details on the inside. Overall, it's really cool. And then of course, you know, the cockpit opens up, you can put your Mando in the seat there. You can put any of the other characters in the rear passenger seats there and that, that's pretty much it overall for the Razor Crest. Here is our little carded set of figures. So we have Queel, the Mandalorian, and the off-world Jawa. And the details on Mando look good. They got, they got those nice browns, the beige pauldron, the Beskar steel colored helmet, his cape, which is removable. So he can sit down. Quill's looking good. His, he's, they got the green on his sleeves, his goggles. Painted his little face. His little backpack. And then there is the off-world Jawa, which is the first Jawa in this line. Hopefully we get a... Micro Galaxy Squadron Sandcrawler at some point. I think that would be really neat to see. And if you look really closely, they did actually paint those little red eyes that the off-world Jawas had. So that's also really cool. And for comparison, here is from Series 1 of Micro Galaxy Squadron, the mystery mini featuring the Mandalorian with the swoop bike he gets on Tatooine in season one of the Mandalorian. And this is, this is what I was saying was kind of peculiar about this release is when he is on Tatooine with the swoop bikes, when we see him with the swoop bikes, he is not in this armor set. He has already replaced most of this armor with the full Beskar armor that he has forged by the armor. So just so you can see, this is the same one from the, this is the one from the Razor Crest. This is the one from the Mystery Mini. They just repacked either one for both releases. And I kind of wish we got Beskar Mando with the swoop bike because it should be Beskar Mando with the swoop bike. Now, to put him on his swoop bike, you just raise his arms up, angle his legs a little bit, kind of in an almost halfway sitting down position. You can kind of keep his cape on with the swoop bike if you have it kind of hanging off the back, but not really. It doesn't stay on that too well. So we're just going to take that off so you can whoosh just swoop around on that bike get ready to fire some flares so they don't get blasted by Fennec Shand who is in this line by the way she came out with the Book of Boba Fett version of Slave 1 with Boba Fett in his full armor but not a big deal that it's not Beskar Mando on the swoop bike it's still a cool release it's still a cool Mando figure it just would have been better if he was Beskar with the bike. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even notice that until now. So I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up right now. Um, I don't know if you guys can see there very well because I'm fighting the camera, focusing. But inside the door there, you can actually see the weapons from his weapon cabinet molded inside. That is really cool, too. That's another awesome level of detail that I honestly did not expect them to achieve on this mold. And I don't know why I didn't expect that because Micro Galaxy Squadron, Jazz Wires has done 
a really fantastic job with detail with their vehicles in this line. So shame on me for not expecting that because I should have because they definitely can and did achieve that. So shame on me. Shame on me. Shame on me. All right, let's put let's put Mando in the cockpit here. So we're going to take off his cape there. Make, it, make him sit down. There we go. There he is. We can go ahead and put the Jawa, as long as he promises not to take anything, and Quill in there as well. Since Quill helps him, you know, put put razor the razor crest back together again. There they are. There it is with the pilots in the cockpit. Now I know you can't really probably see them super well, but oh yeah, that glare is not great. You probably can't see them at all. Shame. But overall, again, a really cool release, an awesome vehicle. I'm glad we finally got the Razor Crest. I think it looks really awesome in this line. I mean, I, I felt that way about pretty much every ship they've done so far. I, I honestly, I don't think I've had any major critiques or complaints about Micro Galaxy Squadron so far. And I just hope that Jazzwares keeps up this awesome pace and awesome level of detail and accuracy that they've done. Yeah, the scaling's not 100% perfect, I think, is some of the things we've talked about. But other than that, detail-wise, I feel like they pretty nailed, they pretty much nailed it so far and have done things that other toy companies and haven't with a lot of these vehicles, especially detail-wise. So, overall, a really cool release. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's Micro Galaxy Squadron review featuring the Razor Crest. Again, overall, um, an amazing release. This thing is awesome. The detail work is fantastic, especially on a model so, so small. You can put your Mando figure in. You can put some of the other Mando figures in here. Can't wait to add IG-11 to this one as well because he was also in this mystery mini line. I haven't gotten a hold of an IG-11 yet, but I will at some point. I'll get to him eventually. And I like that they included Quill and Offworld Jawa. That's not something I would have expected. I did kind of expect Quill to be on there. I definitely did not expect Offworld Jawa, though. That one was a surprise and a welcome one. It was a, it was a cool surprise. So can't wait for more. Guys, stay tuned for more RebelScum.com reviews. Stay tuned for more Micro Galaxy Squadron reviews. What's your favorite vehicle so far in the Micro Galaxy Squadron line? Mine's probably the Lat. I love the Razor Crest. I love Slave 1. I love the Millennium Falcon that they've done. The Millennium Falcon is especially awesome, but I gotta say the Lat is still my favorite so far. It is an awesome vehicle. I can't wait for more Clone Wars vehicles. Heck, I just can't wait for more Micro Galaxy Squadron. Honestly, it's just been such an awesome line. So stay tuned for more. What's a vehicle that hasn't been announced or released yet that you are looking forward to in the Micro Galaxy Squadron? Please comment it below so Jazzwares knows what they need to get to work on ASAP for us, right? Stay tuned for more. Like and subscribe. Follow us on social media. Check out rebelscumshop.com for awesome swag and merch like the hashtag Unpunched shirt I'm wearing today. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. Big or small, may the force be with all of you.